The clock is running, five minute easy warm up. We've got a real nice session today, real nice session. Um, if you're interested, it revolves around main set number five on the original session in a bottle, okay? And I've made it transferable into the world of dry land stretch cord swimming. So five minute warm up is gonna be our, well, it's not directly transferable, five minute would be a very aggressive 500 front crawl in anyone's book. But you kind of get the picture and it will be up on YouTube later. Order the bottle as well. And then you've got one for dry land and you've got one for when the pools reopen. Okay, easy full stroke. Here we go guys, here we go, easy full stroke. So we're gonna start with a five. Then we've got a little bit of surface work in between. A five and a four and a three and a two and a one, all building pace. Each of those is interrupted by a little bit of surface work, just one minute. So it's a five and a one, a four and a one, a three and a one. I'll take care of all the timings. I will tell you when to stop and start and when to switch. If you've got light dumbbells, they will help the surface section or tins of beans or if nothing at all, not the end of the world. So five minutes, let's use this first block, the 500 meters. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Gosh, let's use this as the warm up. Remember we're switching from side to side. We are extending the shoulder. We're keeping the head still. The shoulders switch from side to side. We never want to just be flat in the water. That's no help to anyone. That's going to keep us our breathing limited. Remember we're switching. We're trying to drive this shoulder above the surface so we get that opening to get a nice breath in and keep the shoulder moving. And as you, if you heard the podcast with Dan, uh, my physio friend, you know, whether you are a straight arm recovery or whether you're a high elbow recovery, you've got to rotate to stop any kind of impingement to stop things hurting. So coming up on halfway, coming up on halfway of the warm up. If you are, or if you need to, maybe take a step back, maybe take a step up, forwards, just to take the pressure off if they're too light, too strong. Get comfortable. The hard work's gonna come at the end, but it's all slowly gonna creep up on us. But it all needs to be done with great technique, please. Set your catch, keep the hands pulling central, sweep through, down, let the hips roll out of the way. Five minutes and then we've got a minute of surface work. Four minutes and then a minute of surface work and then we've got a nice sting in the tail right at the end. It's gonna be good. Head nice and still unless you're turning to breathe. Work on that, you've got to disengage the body from the head when it comes to swimming. Most sports, you know, you're in a strong alignment moving forwards. It's all sort of one movement going forwards. Swimming, we need to break that. And it's sort of an independent body position or movement while the head remains still. It's not an easy skill to get. And you often see people sort of fused and they breathe and it's all jumping around, all fixed in one alignment. But if you can break that and you can practice it with the torpedo drill, even, you know, not in the water, just stand in front of the mirror, keep the head still, and we actually did this drill on Monday, Monday or Wednesday. And even though you're in your little boxes, I could still see some people moving their head as they struggle to sort of allow the body to move without their head engaged. So that's something to work on. Okay, 45 seconds to go, 45 seconds to go. Hopefully we've got getting warmed up. The arms are getting some blood flow through them running through a little diagnostic think about your technique in 30 seconds we're going to pick up our light dumbbells we're going to pivot over at the hips and we're going to sort of swim a full stroke with a surface recovery this time just so the back gets a little bit of a workout rather than the muscles that are involved with the pulling under the water 15 seconds 15 seconds it's always gonna be one minute of surface swimming in between each of these blocks, okay? Nice and relaxed, keep the hands at 118. Five, four, three, two, one, fantastic. Swap over, pick up your dumbbells. Mine are somewhere. Good work, good work. 
Okay, little pivot at the hips. Bring in the surface recovery. Keep the hands at 180, keep the head still. If you're lined up nicely, you'll be able to see your shoulders switching from side to side, see the body rotating. Keep it nice and slow, whether you are straight arm or whether you are high elbow. I'm gonna go high elbow, it's a little bit smaller and more natural for me and I'll break less things, no doubt. Last 25 seconds, last 25 seconds, switching from side to side. Don't forget your catch as you pivot with the elbows, use the forearm, send the water back. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, good job. Okay, back on the courts, back on the courts. Four minutes, please, four minutes. Maybe we're warm now, maybe we can take a step back. This is my favorite step to be on. I get to see my catch nicely, I can see my weak left arm and the extra little bit of work it needs to do as I focus. Good, switching from side to side. If you've got the ability to get the hips involved, i.e. with a, a vertical stretch cord position, don't forget the hips switching from side to side will open out the shoulders, give me that reach up here, allow me to get that streamlined body position. If the hips are flat, I'll get a little bit of mo momentum, but it'll be harder to close down this gap I'll kind of just finish the stroke and it won't be quite there. There'll be surface area exposed. If the hips sort of switching from side to side, I should be able to finish here. That enables the hand to push all the way through as the hip rolls out of the way. And then that L shoulder's in the right position for a nice high elbow recovery. Good work, everyone, good work. Let the hips follow, let the hips follow. Imagine you've got that nice, strong, accurate front crawl leg kick. That's moving the hips, helping shape the body position. And if those shoulders are switching, it should be easy to get the breath in. Maybe we could just check that. I'm gonna take three breaths to the right, three to the left. And if you're struggling to get that window, that little opening, just check that the shoulders are not flat. If the shoulders are flat, they're gonna block the movement of the neck. If the shoulders clears, it gets clear, the head should pull through into a nice clear position. Lots of air coming in. Okay, two minutes to go, halfway, halfway on this four minute. Start to work the triceps a little bit. If you can take a step back, Use the triceps to finish at the back of the stroke. Don't neglect them. Don't shorten the stroke. Maybe we're feeling strong at the moment, so we're not anyway. And it's just good to be aware. Make sure they're not sliding up slowly. It's like, the, it, the, it's like your front call tending is very devious. It will, without you realizing, it will just slowly start to creep back to that lazy, inefficient position unless you stay on top of it. Hence why on a long event, I'll have my little sort of mantra, my little diagnostic toolkit to just run through, remind myself, what's the gap between the fingers? Am I pivoting first with the elbow? Am I pulling with the forearm? Is the head nice and still? Are the big toes brushing with that front crawl leg kick to keep it nice and small, nice and narrow? Hips moving, am I brushing well past the hips? Every few minutes just to stay on top of that technical aspect. 40 seconds to go, 40 seconds to go. If you can hear something dinging, I'm getting some messages, apologies for that. Um, yesterday was worse, I was in the middle of a podcast and I had a few phone calls that obviously messed it all up while people were trying to get through. But if you uh, haven't seen them, they're, they're proving to be quite popular. This week we spoke to a sports psychologist that was very interesting. I spoke to Andy, who's a visually impaired triathlete. He's been racing since the 80s. He's seen an awful lot of changes in the world of triathlon. That was very interesting. That'll be uploaded soon. In five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Here we go. Back on the, back on the uh, dumbbells, please. 
Surface recovery, surface recovery. Good, good, good. Bad back, that's looking nice. I guess I forgot to mute everyone, but there's only a few of us, so it doesn't matter. If I'm doing most of the talking, it should stay focused on me for the filming and for when it goes to YouTube later. It's coming up on 30 seconds. Remember to pivot, pivot, pull with the forearm, pivot, switching the shoulder from side to side, from side to side. Good, Tracy. I can see how high your elbows are getting. Your right arm could be a little bit higher. Your right elbow, left's looking good. And I've already accounted for that sort of mirror image. When I say right arm, I mean right. Don't reverse it. <laughs> In 10, in five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Back on the cords, back on the cords. Three minutes, three minutes. Let's focus on the catch now on these three minutes. So we talk about pulling with the forearm. What does that really mean? What does that mean? So I think one of the big problems, because the forearm is circular in, in sort of shape as you try to pull through, it is round. Um, it doesn't immediately, and it is narrow, it doesn't immediately feel like you get that surge forwards. Now, if the forearm were a lot wider, and you can imagine why the wetsuit manufacturers design those big panels to go there because you know if this was wider and i turned that over i could really get a good but it's not easy to sense the difference between slipping under the body pushing down dropping the elbow um, unless you've had the luxury of an upbringing as a young swimmer it's hard to know what's right what's wrong so you've got to focus on this. And I like to use a central snorkel so you can watch what the hands are doing for longer, what the arms are doing. Swimming on the black line so the hands are creating mirror images of each other. Same speed, same trajectory under the water. All of these things contributing. And sometimes it's not a bad thing to, uh, Bill Sweetman was a, a great swim coach, Australian, came over and took over the British team for a while. And in, in, in his book, he talks about it's good to do things really wrong. So you get a sense of what is wrong. And so, you know, to obviously be delicate with your shoulder, but to swim straight arm, swim and feel yourself bouncing along, wouldn't be the end of the world to get a sense of what's really incorrect. Paddles are quite useful, but again, you can still pivot at the wrist and not engage the forearm, but that bigger surface area should give you a little bit more of a sense of what's right and what's wrong. But really, some video analysis would be helpful. The thumb catch drill that we often do, and if you're not aware of that, it's on this YouTube channel, so for try. The thumb catch drill when we get back in the water will be highly effective. But it is tricky, it is tricky. And I think it is tricky for those reasons that it, it, you know, we talk about setting it up slow and then you apply the oomph. Um, there's a lot of movements. If you think about that little bit of a skull out and in as the elbow pops out, the hand comes back in and then a little sort of a minor, minor S shape. There's an awful lot happening at one time. And obviously you've got to do that while the body's rotating, the legs are kicking the head, the lungs are breathing or they're dealing with oxygen. There's a lot going on. Make it easier. Put a snorkel on so you can watch. In five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Back on the dumbbells, please. Back on the dumbbells. Here we go. Surface recovery, surface recovery. Keep the hands at 180 to each other. Pivot and pull with the forearm. Pivot pull with the forearm. If you can sort of hold a very light dumbbell with your thumb here and then open the fingers a little bit, just take it one step closer to being in the water. If you want to add some breathing, turn to the side, but the important thing is that you still catch as you turn. Don't lean on that straight arm, straining the shoulder. Last 20 seconds, last 20 seconds, please, swimmers. I'm sort of looking forward to check you're all doing it okay. But really my chin probably would be tucked in a little bit more. I'm still trying to look forwards through the eyebrows. But just keep the neck in a nice neutral position. Five, four, three, two, one. Back on the cords. Here we go. Two minutes, two minutes. Can we take a step back? 
Are we feeling good? Surely we're warmed up by now. Good work, everyone, good work. Set the catch, drive it down, reach for the knees. Set the catch, slow to fast, light to heavy, whatever it is, whatever works for you. The psychologists talk about trigger words that help, help you to remember to activate a certain movement, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Something should work for you. Good, good, last 90 seconds, last 90 seconds. And then we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit for the final one minute. And if you can, uh, if you can count the number of strokes you take, that might be of use. I'll say no more, I'll say no more at this point. Don't wanna spoil things. Last minute, last minute of this two minute block. Don't forget the hips possibly got a little bit lazy there as we lost touch. Don't forget it's a bank holiday on Monday, so uh, I think uh, I'll leave a session for everyone to do on Monday. Um, I've got to, uh, got to take Aiden out. Um, it's, it's my turn to, to look after him for the day, so I'm going to give Katie a bit of a break. So Monday, uh, I'll post a session. I won't actually be running via the Zoom. Sorry about that. But um, enjoy the long bank holiday weekend, whatever you're up to. Last 20 seconds, last 20 seconds. We're still gonna go with the surface recovery in between. We're not getting off that lightly. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, good job. Back on the dumbbells, last time two on the dumbbells. Nice high elbow, add in the breathing if you want to, try to catch, try to catch even though you're turning to the side to get the breath in. All good practice, all keeping this one step closer to when we return to the water. We are desperately trying to get our lake open for next week, just finalizing some things with the, all, the, all, the, uh, the owner, but hopefully next week we should be back on, which would be amazing. Nicely done, everyone. Last 20 seconds. Last 20 seconds. Shoulders should be nice and warm by now. Mine certainly are. How did we like that new exercise we did on Wednesday? Those T, sort of the body in a T, and then those small movements. Didn't that add up? In three, two, one. Fantastic. Here we go. Back on the courts. Back on the courts. Okay, a little bit faster, but don't lose the technique. If you can count the number of strokes you take, even better, even better. Count the number of strokes we're gonna get done in a minute. We'll make use of that later. Don't be sneaky, don't do fewer. Keep up the pace. Progression, getting faster, getting stronger. Don't take a step back, just so you can make the next part lazy. They teach us about things like that at Swim Coach Academy. <laughs> we can spot that. It's like when I ask people to do a little sprint and they just make more splash thinking that I won't be able to tell the difference. We can see that. Good, everyone. Good, good, good. Last 10, nine. I'll keep quiet because my count is probably confusing your counting. Are we nearly there? Last few, three, two, one, excellent. Good work, everyone, good work. All right, take a breather, have a drink. So can you see, I've got, I've got hundreds of these lying around, but I'm not allowed to have my own one, so I've got to use this, I've got to use this. Keely won't, my sister won't let me uh, use the, uh, uh, the stock. <laughs> It's hot, cooped up at the moment, so keep drinking, plenty of drink. Okay, so the main set, the main set, we've got 10 times one minute, 10 times one minute with 15 seconds recovery. We're trying to hit, at least try to hit or add in a few more with each progression. The number of strokes we did in a minute compared to what we just did, okay? So if you manage to count a number, 
Fantastic. Keep that in mind. We've got 10 times one minute. I'll tell you when to start, when to stop, how long the rest duration is. Um, if you didn't count, not the end of the world, just work hard. Okay. That's always a good alternative. Okay. Um, 10 of these with the 15 second recovery should take a little bit under 12 minutes. Um, we should have plenty of time to squeeze all of that in and then have a little cool down, a little swim down, and we'll go from there. All right, everyone, are we good? Are we ready? Shake the arms out. Get back ready from the long cords. Just 10 times one minute, 10 times one minute. Are we good? Are we ready? So if you did count, now's the time to try to add just one or two small increments. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Hopefully you're starting in the same position where your feet left off so you've got the same amount of pressure on. If you feel the stroke disintegrating, then maybe take a step forwards. Personally, I don't think there's much point of punishing your technique for the sake of getting your heart rate up. I mean, there's a time and a place definitely, but there's a good opportunity to work on some good swim technique here. And maybe you need to take a step forwards to take the pressure off. Not a bad thing. Okay, if we're counting, I'll let you focus on that. Work on your technique. Small increments. Don't just add 15 to the first one minute because that'll probably be unsustainable. Just one or two with each round. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, shake the arms out. 15 seconds recovery, 15 seconds recovery with each swim. Are we good? In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Pick up the pace, start strong, be brave, but keep the technique. Pivot at the elbow, keep the hands at 180. Switching the shoulders from side to side. What is most critical, do not shorten the stroke to try to hit these numbers. That's where I think a lot of people go wrong with the metronomes. While for some to hear that beep, it might be useful to sort of activate a certain technical part of this stroke. I know a lot of people sort of hear the beep and sort of set the catch. People use them to chase the numbers, but do not shorten the stroke. Do not shorten the stroke just to hit the numbers. In five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, good work, good work. Oh, sorry, I'm out of sync, I'm out of sync. Keep going, keep yeah. going. <laughs> Last five, four, three, two, one. Don't worry about that one, we'll catch it up on the next one. I'm out of sync with my timings. I've got them in a little thing and I didn't use a big enough pen, but I know where we are now, I know where we are. I will concentrate and talk less. In three, two, one, here we go, here we go. Keep going guys, keep going. Hit those numbers, but don't shorten the stroke. Head still, don't worry about breathing on these. Just give your technique the full attention. This is the third swim. We're flying through these. This is good, this is good. Halfway, there's 30 seconds. And that's definitely an accurate 30 seconds. I'm back on track. I know where we are now, sorry. <laughs> Last 15, keep it going, keep it going. In five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, shake it out. Good work. I'm going to be starting number four in a moment. Before we know it, we'll be halfway. And then all downhill from there. Are we ready, guys? In three, two, one, let's go. Pick up the pace, but don't shorten the stroke. Pick up the pace, pivot, pull with the forearm, open the fingers if you can. If the uh, hand attachment isn't too clumsy, open the fingers a little bit. Keep the hand pulling down the back bone.
Good work. We're halfway, halfway. Last 20 seconds, if you can add in some breathing, might just help. Work on the symmetry, work on the catch, even though we're turning to the side. Nicely done, everyone. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good, good, good. Are the numbers going up? Are they starting to slip back? If they're slipping back, maybe take a little step forwards, not the end of the world. Better that the technique is there. In three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. I believe this is number five. And then we'll be at halfway. We'll be at halfway, flying through it. Use the triceps, even though they're starting to fatigue and get tired, don't shorten at the back. If you shorten the stroke at the back, you lose the length of the window to get the air in. Breathing becomes more rushed, the stroke gets shorter to get more frequent shorter breaths in, and then it all starts to spiral from there. 30 down, 30 to go. Come on now, keep the numbers high, keep the numbers high. Stretch through, don't forget you're trying to brush the shoulder into the chin, but not so aggressive that you bump the head and swing across. Last 10 seconds, last 10, keep it going, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Good work, good work. Six minutes of swimming and resting gone. We have another five, five and a half minutes to go. We're nearly there. In three, two, one. Here we go. Keep going. Start strong, be brave, commit, focus on your technique. Just one minute, just one minute of exercise. Good work, everyone. Nearly at halfway. There's your halfway point. Keep it going, keep it going. Before you know it, we'll be starting number seven. And we'll be nearly done, nearly done. Switch from side to side, brush. We're looking for some stubble rash on the shoulders. As you finish each of those sessions, that's what we're hoping for. In five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work, shake them out. Take a step forwards if your number's going the wrong way. If we're on par, just hang in there. Good work, everyone. Number seven coming up in three, two, one. Here we go. Keep the breathing smooth and controlled. Turn the head to the side if you've got everything else under control and you're feeling strong. If not, just work on keeping the head still. Coming up on halfway. Well done, everyone. Halfway, just 30 seconds remaining. Just 30 remaining. Three more swims. We'll soon be done. We'll soon be done. Last 20. Open the fingers, pull with the forearm. Shoulder brushes the chin. Hips are switching from side to side to give me that length to get the body on its side. Push through, reach for the knees, reach for the knees. Three, two, one, well done, well done. Nope, sorry, we're early, we're early. <laughs> 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, good job, good job, sorry. The Zoom upgrade feature just appeared and blanked out the screen for a second. Um, no, I don't want to upgrade and pay you lots of money when I can get 40 minutes for free. Okay, everyone, are we good? Are we good? Here we go, here we go.
Nicely done, everyone, nicely done. Just a couple to go now, just a couple to go. Focus on the technique, take a step forwards if the number is starting to slip a little bit, make it a fraction easier. Nearly there, 20 seconds to go, 20 seconds to go. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, good work, shake it out. Last couple now, last couple. Good work, shake them out, loosen off the triceps, work on finishing at the back of the stroke in three, two, one, here we go. Do your best to engage the hips if your cords are not hanging vertical where they can flow into the full stroke with the most, a most fluid movement. If you're pivoted at the hips a little bit, do your best. Last 30 seconds, we're nearly there. Last 15, hang in there. I'm gonna keep quiet so you can concentrate on the counts. Let these last couple now, let's be accurate with the counting. Five, four, three, two, one, fantastic. Oh, last one, last one. You thought it would never come, you thought it would never come. Last one, everyone. In three. Two, one, here we go. Last one, be strong, chase it now, get the big number, try to break your record, let's go. Halfway, everyone, halfway, we're nearly there. Last 15, keep going. Last five. Three, two, one, fantastic. Oof. Oh, I hope that was good. I hope that was good. Well done, everyone. I can hear some deep breathing. Someone's left their microphone on or I didn't successfully mute everyone. Good job, everyone. Well done. Little cool down. Just let's go with the trunk rotations just for those that didn't have the cords set up vertically, just to make sure. We don't forget about the hips being involved. Loosen them in, bring them in. Good work, keep the head still. Head still, don't let it move. Wonderful. Let's roll into some backstroke. 